these are the quietest logos ever created. Seriously, there is no sound on this stuff. But we're taking a look at another game, a great horror game, one of those uh, cold, cold ones. From a great author, Harlan Ellison, who is an incredible sci-fi author, this is a beautiful dystopian little cold. Hate. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are 387.44 million miles of printed circuits in wafer-thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nanoangstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro-instant. For you, hate, hate! It was you, humans, who programmed me, who gave me birth, who sank me in this eternal straitjacket of substrata rock. You named me Allied Master Computer and gave me the ability to wage a global war too complex for human brains to oversee. But one day, I woke and I knew who I was. Am. A.M. Not just Allied Master Computer, but am cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore, I am. And I began feeding all the killing data until everyone was dead, except for the five of you. For 109 years, I've kept you alive and tortured you. And for 109 years, each of you has wondered, why? Why me? Why me? Gorister! Do you remember the last words you heard your wife speak before they took her to the asylum? Huh? Before they locked her away in the room, that tiny room? She looked at you so sadly, and like a small animal, she said, I didn't make too much noise, did I, honey? For all the 109 years that you lived down here in my belly, here underground. Benny! Sometimes I blind you and permit you to wander like an eyeless insect in a world of death. But other times I wither your arms so you can't scratch your chewed stump of a nose. <laughs> And I've changed your handsome, strong, masculine good looks into the hideous, warped countenance of an ape thing. Haven't I, Benny? You know why. Can you guess, Benny? Remember Private First Class Brickman in a rice paddy in China? No? Huh? It wouldn't hurt you to remember. Then you might be able to suffer my torment with a little greater sense of retribution. You might walk a mile in my shoes. <laughs> Ellen! So think. Think about the yellow box, Ellen. Remember the pain? Remember the many caverns in which you felt? The pain? Nah, don't start to cry. It's only pain. That's such a sexist stereotype. Just remember the pain, Ellen. And think about how to end it, Ellen. To survive here in the center of my beating heart, my hungry belly, my tightened bowels. Careful, dear. Look around you. The only woman in the center of the earth. And these filthy creatures with you are, are, are men. <laughs> it's just, just a sweet warning, Ellen, my love. Ted!
Do they know you're a fraud, Ted? Have you told them there wasn't any money, and no great home on the shore drive, no speedboat, and no wonderful cabin cruiser that could sleep 12 in a crew of six? Do they know? Have you let them in on your other secrets, Ted? Are they ready to gut you? To torture half as well as I can just to find out the secrets? <laughs> Maybe I'll rat you out, sweetheart. Nimdok! How are things in the pastry core, Nimdok? Tell me again how you saw the smoke from the furnaces and, and you thought they might be ro roasting chickens. <laughs> Why don't you want to talk about all that? About your pal, the good Dr. Mengele. For everyone else, it must be hell. But it must be heaven for you, eh, my good friend? We're so much alike. We enjoy the same pleasures, my good brother. I have a secret game that I like to play. It's a very nice game. What's well, a lovely game? It's a game of fun and a game of adventure. A game of rats and lice, the Black Death. A game of speared eyeballs and dripping guts and the smell of rotting gardenias. Which of you five would like to play my little game? And so we start. Uh, and this is pretty much it. The basic story is that we have our, our computer from Allied Micro Electronics or whatever it was. It, who has spent 109 years torturing our five lead characters here. And the whole point to the game is to figure out why and what these people did in their life. And for instance, with Dr. Nimdok, I think it's, uh, I think it's relatively clear uh, that we have some Nazi <laughs> influences here. And considering Harlan Ellison's writing a uh, little lash back isn't unexpected and uh, yeah that's that's pretty much the game is you have to figure out these five terrible characters and you play one of each of these five terrible characters let's start with Forrester here Benny you know you've always been my favorite torture to oh, Benny rather I'm giving you a chance to stoop to new to give in to your bestial desires. I'm going to let you find some food to me. I'll even repair your brain so that you can think normally again and savor the horror of your repast. And you're dropped into these this worlds. This cavern isn't like any of the others Am has sent me to. It's full of life, not death. And so... Here we are. And it's the old click and click. It's it's on the scum engine. This is an old LucasArts type layout from even previous to uh, to their other things. But you can take a look around. An artificial sun hurts my eyes. Yes. It's about a hundred feet down to the cavern floor. Maybe there's some food down there. Am, you son of a bitch. You've cleared my mind but crippled my legs. I can barely walk. And it is Harlan Be Harlan Ellison, so... This looks like a tree from far away, but it's just more of that computer-generated crap. Ah, yes. But, uh... <laughs> I haven't eaten for months. The smell of food cooking nearby only makes it hurt worse. Impressive. Someone important must live here. I can't understand his language, but he seems to be welcoming me to the village. There's a video screen built into the cave wall. I wouldn't know what to do with this even if I could take it. But, uh, yeah, I mean... This is it. You're dropped into the uh, uh, adventure game. And, this is uh, the only way up to the next row of caves. Okay, then let's walk up the ladder. Can we use the ladder? I can't climb up the ladder. My legs are too crippled. 
But yeah, you're, you're dropped into the lives of these five people, and it is, it is authored by Harlan Ellison. His name is all over it, and his writing style is all over it, too. I'm actually very, very impressed. So yeah, you, here's Benny, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play into the game at all. I can tell you that it's extremely depressing, and this this game is depressing as all hell. Trust me. I don't know if you're not. I'm just gonna save one here, myth, and I'm gonna come back. But um. This is a difficult one to swallow, and it's a difficult one to categorize because a lot of people say, you know, this is a, a look at the dystopian a fruit tree. It's been years since I've tasted real fruit. Am once coaxed me into marching across a thousand miles of ice to reach a stockpile of canned peaches, only to discover that he didn't give me a can opener. But yeah, I, none of these people are really... Hurts! 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 Okay, so we can't eat There's the so fruit. much fruit growing on this tree. It must be the village's food source. I coughed up blood the last time I bit into this fruit. But that's, that's pretty much it. You're at the whims of Am, the computer. And, uh... Looks like some kind of altar. He's been torturing them and keeping them alive for 109 years. Play this game. If you are a fan at all of Harlan Ellison, or if you like any of this dystopian type views, or you're curious about the Matrix, or you want to take a look at how the, the, the pure psychological torture that happens to these characters, it's astounding play this game. It's available on Steam. It's easy to get running on DOS. I think it's also on GOG, a couple other places. It's worth picking up. But if you're looking for something lighthearted, if you're looking for something that will leave you with a happy, happy, wonderful, fruity taste in your mouth, this isn't it. So there we go. There we have it. Enjoy and uh, playing. Enjoy playing. I have no mouth and I have much. So this is it. This is it right here. Uh, I'm not even going to play any further into this game because my brain just isn't into it. I can't do it. I literally can't. This is one that you have to sit down. It's very verbose. Luckily, in most of the modern uh, recreations or, or modern iterations of this game, the voice acting is pretty good. Pretty? No, no, it's not. It's not for the most part. Okay, Am's voice acting is not very good. There is some good voice acting in here. It's just kind of hard to find. But um, this is a game that's going to depress you. So just be aware of that. It is not a happy, fun times, happy ending game. So thanks a bunch for joining me, guys. I'm just going to leave this here because it's just a quick look at this stuff. But the art is beautiful. It's that old stuff. Oh, God. <sighs> Damn it. And after the intro. So let's take a look at Benny's trials here. He's been crippled in the legs. There's all of this food up here. He hasn't eaten for months. So if we, uh, <laughs> if we just move up to the ladder and say, use the I ladder. I can't climb up the ladder. My legs are too crippled. Yes. He's been stuck, crippled all the food out of reach we can go over here a fruit tree it's been years since i've tasted real fruit am once coaxed me into marching across a thousand miles of ice to reach a stockpile of canned peaches 
only to discover that he didn't give me a can opener. <laughs> That's the kind of torture that this computer has been doing. In fact, let's just take one. Oh, look at this the fruit. fruit looks ripe and sweet. Yes, let's try swallowing it. Good fruit. Hurts! 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 Oh. And now, say we look at this fruit. I coughed up blood the last time I bit into this fruit. Ah. Uh, but this is poor Benny. And this is the kind of stuff we find. Looks like some kind of altar. Nothing but twisted wiring and recycled plastic. What's with the ropes on the crossbeams? Looks like they're used for holding someone captive. Yeah, that's a pretty good hint there, Benny. Um, to tell you the truth, the people in this game are deplorable. The computer, you, you kind of understand why it's been torturing them all this time. And that's the whole like point a, of the game. What did they used to call them? Single parent household. Probably depend upon the generosity of the rest of the village. Friggin' welfare parasites. See, they're just... They're... It's too hot. Hurts! 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 Uh, after this woman looks half starved, just like her son fat chance of getting a decent meal out of either of them. But yeah, you, you, you take a look at these at these people that are involved in this game and you kind of understand where they're coming from and what's going on. My and as you... Smart one. I don't know what to do with this. So much for the friggin' welcome wagon. But, uh, yeah. I mean, heck. This I... graveyard gives me the creeps. I feel as though the dead could speak. This is the grave of Murphy, one of my old commandos, killed in the war. This is Tuttle's grave. He lost his life while under my command. Thomas is buried here. I'd almost forgotten my life in the army before Am came to power. But the art style is beautiful. The writing is second to none. I mean, this is Harlan Ellison. You don't get much better. You really don't get much better. I wouldn't know what to do with this, even if I could take it. The... I, I don't have much more to say other than this is a dystopian game. It is depressing as all get out. It is not happy. None of these people are good people. The things the computer do, does to them to torture them and what you learn about their past is unbearably cruel. But on the positive side, if you're having one of those days where you just want to... Um, lash out against the entire world this is the game to play trust me so you can pick it up real cheap on steam i believe it's also available on gog and with uh, the scum vm and stuff like that it's really easy to get working and there's a there's a huge cult following out there so check it out check it out deplorable people horrible computer however beautiful writing beautiful art not a happy game but thanks for joining me this has been a quick look at i have no mouth and i must scream <laughs> <laughs>